Well, that's a relief. The situation has resolved itself and the investigation is over. So we just got off at the Eaton Center. I've got to head over there. So, folks and jokes, I'm joined today by my friend Christine Estima, our esteemed colleague, holding the camera today. And we have just come from the AMC movie theater, which is over my left shoulder. We're now standing in Dundas Square. And I'm being illuminated by this giant screen right here. And so, you see, we just came from an advanced screening of a movie called Joaquin Phoenix, I'm Still Here. And uh, I'm torn on this movie. My instinctual gut reaction to it is one of uh, revulsion, uh, but it's also fascination. Um, it's equal parts, um, I want to, uh, it's equal parts feeling like a piece of my spirit has died, knowing that that exists in the world, yet at the same time, there's a, an awe at it. So you have Joaquin Phoenix, who has, you know, had uh, what's been played up to be personal troubles, and uh, grew the beard, grew his hair out, was dirty, and was going to quit acting to be a rapper. And so this was the documentary that followed him all the way along in his journey as a rapper. So we see him in the studio, not really doing much. We see him in uh, L.A., Miami, New York, all along the while either not doing much or tripping over his shoelaces, takes you through the, the, the famous David Letterman incident and then behind the scenes, all the way up to coming down and crashing. Now, my friend Christine Estima has said that this was all a, a hoax, that Casey Affleck, the director of the film, admitted that it was a hoax. Now, if it is a hoax, um, is it smart or is it brilliant? I was thinking, like, if it's not a hoax and they're documenting this guy's meltdown, what? Then, then somebody's a fucking asshole for trying to like expose this guy's foibles to the world. And if it's a hoax, well then it seems to me that it's very irresponsible what they're putting out in the world and the energy that like a project like this and what they're perpetrating and what they're showing to you, uh, what putting that out in the world does to the energy and the vibration. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not, it, it, it's, it's not in keeping with, you know, the spirit of, uh, of, uh, of, of uh, evolution and love, you know? So, um, you can look at it as a wild Warhol-esque piece of performance art and a study in image and celebrity and fame, but at the end of the day, as successful as it may be, on those levels, what's it bringing into the world? Ben and uh, Joaquin and, and Casey, what are you bringing into the world with this? I'd like to know, because right now, having just seen it, I'm a little bit confused and can't really tell. Very good. Yeah. It's a train wreck. Yes. Um, it's absolutely a um, big ass mess. I think that you should leave um, any sort of hoax documentaries. Leave it to Sasha Baron Cohen. Leave it to Banksy. Don't even bother doing mm. it. The first act was quite good. Actually, it was rather funny. And then it just descended into pure chaos and madness. That is like 90 minutes I will never get back. But right, is there any like redeeming quality to it? Like, is, like do you feel like there's any like reason for it? Like is there a reason to see it? Uh, I think the... Like there's the spectacle of what they're particularly showing us, but what are we getting out of it? Well I think the intention behind it was to show the kind of uh, mad world that celebrities live in and that it's uh, it, it's supposed to be kind of like a cautionary tale, like don't enter into what we do type thing. Right. But. I think they failed in execution. It wasn't as engaging as I would have liked it to have been. And also, it just reeks of... It just reeks. <laughs> <laughs> as clearly as I can say it, it stunk. I've seen better acting and tough acting to acting. <laughs> <laughs> well said. I'm sorry. You know, you really when I talk to one. You mean times when you what? When I talk to one. When you talk well. Talk too much. Oh, talk too much. Well, there's times when I talk too much to you, they tell you that. Really? <laughs> you sure now. All I do is talk. Every day oh, wow. I talk. Always talk. Yeah, you're trying to say something good. 
Melissa Smith told me to stop talking once. Really? Yeah. Is that all? Do you know Melissa? No. Uh oh. You should. Well, no. She's cool. I know it's terrible. Right now. <laughs> you're beautiful. Yes, you're beautiful. Well, right now. Now, now. <laughs> don't, don't worry. I want to ask you for a date yet. Wait until tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. We're going to be right back here in the square tomorrow. Can't do, can't do it. Christina Steamer, we'll head in here right back here in the square tomorrow, holding the rose. Waiting for her date. Yeah. It's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna have to fall in love right here on the yeah, internet. Yeah. What was her first name? Christine. 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 You're, you're wonderful. You sound good. You sound good. You, you, look, you, you look beautiful. I feel like dancing. Let's see something. You make me feel like dancing. Uh, no, no, no. This night. No, 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 no. No, no. No? Give me Jimmy Hanks. Oh. Give me the Beatles. Uh, I'll, I'll say Beatles. Wait, you got it. Oh, no. 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 I no. Oh, 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 64? So, maybe the Yards. So, who? The Beatles? Beatles. Oh, wow. Maybe the Yards. I saw Paul McCartney like three weeks ago. So, no? Oh, no, he couldn't do that. No. He must go to the Yards. That guy here in Dundas Square. Yes. Um, I love him, and I hope that when I am his age, I am as boisterous and redonkulous. I, I, you'll probably not love have it. a problem being ridiculous <laughs> for all your days. I mean, it's so hard for me behind the camera. I was like, <laughs> like, I'm just trying so hard not to laugh. So one of my jokes when uh, I was a tour guide on the right. Double Decker bus, and we'd go by the ROM, and I'd be like, and now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going by the Royal Ontario Museum, or the ROM, as we like to call it. Now, right. as you can see, it is still under construction, because that's when they were building the crystal at that. Right. But as you, but as you all know, ROM wasn't built in a day. <laughs> <laughs> and you wouldn't believe, like, all these Americans that we get coming to Toronto are just like, oh, that's so funny, here's $20. <laughs> I would make mad tips when I would, like, tell those stupid jokes like that. It was like... And what would you do to get happy tips? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Um, I feel so weird. I feel like, like, how do you act normally when you have like a, a lens right in your face? I would be the worst actress ever. I give it like, a go. Let's do, a, let's do a scene. We'll see how you do. I can do a scene from the movie I was in. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Um, you should have seen it before your horde of camel riding illiterates descended upon it. Um, ooh, that's Not good. Not bad, that's huh? That's good. That's good. <laughs> Now, before we get started, um, I have two $20 gift certificates to HMV. Oh, we have to get it done. Thanks. I will be doing trivia questions, <laughs> and I oh. need two contestants. Oh, Just two. You should do this. So stand up, make a fool of yourself, starting now. Wait, if you want to be a contestant. Make a fool of yourself. I got yourself. one. Okay. I got one. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Wait for your... 